gentlemen, I present to you the Super Truck Bowl. That's right, the drag race to end all drag races. In this episode, we're gonna find out who is the quickest super truck of them all. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. To start off the series of drag races, we are going to race the regular Ford Raptor versus the Raptor R. Then the winner takes on the Ram TRX, and finally the winner of that race takes on the Hummer EV. We are serious about melting polar ice caps here, and to do that we have the brand new Ford Raptor on 37s with a slight lift, and wait for it, the brand new Ford Raptor R. This is the first race. So why are we doing this? What defines a super truck? Well, three things. Special looks, big wide body with special off-road suspension, and of course, major power. And I'm in the newcomer, Ford Raptor R for 2023. And I've got a big V8, 5.2 liters of it. And they call it the Predator. This has 700 horsepower at a high revving 66 100 RPM plus and 640 pound-feet of torque. Now my standard F-150 Raptor puts out 450 horsepower from a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 and a 10-speed automatic transmission and I do have a slight weight advantage compared to Andre's truck. This weighs almost 100 pounds less so I'm just under 6,000 pounds. It's about an 80 pound difference here. Roger, are you ready? Well this is just, this is um a warm-up. This is the opening act. Supercharger of that V8 launched so hard. I had no shot. Are you all safe? Well, man, that uh, that V8 launches the Raptor hard, doesn't it? Did I jump to start or did you fall asleep? Well, I think it's just that this twin turbo V6, it doesn't spike right off the line like that V8 does. I don't have the displacement and it takes a second for the turbos to get going. So it looked like I took off in slow motion. Okay, so here's my time. 13 sec 13.13 so 13.13 at 108 miles per hour that is a screaming quarter mile time i however put up a 15.56 at 93 miles per hour so not bad for a mile above sea level but nothing like that v8 raptor r well the only mod on your truck is it's sitting a little bit taller with the geyser springs so I mean, your truck is almost, almost stock, um, and this Raptor R is all stock. And to be fair, the slight lift and the bigger tires on this truck definitely doesn't help its time in the quarter mile, but one way or another, there's no escape in the horsepower difference between these two. And for a little bit of break in action, we're gonna do a rev battle because these are super trucks and sound is very important, right? First up, let's hear the twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6. Now the newcomer, the 5.2 liter supercharged V8 Raptor R. Now let's hear the good old Hellcat V8 6.2 liter supercharged engine. And 
now let's hear what a thousand electric horsepower sounds like. Hmm. Comment down below to let us know which truck you think sounds the best. And now the event you've all been waiting for, and that is the Ford Raptor R versus the Ram TRX. Now this is the main event, and I know TRX versus Raptor R drag racing has been done, but there's still a lot of variables at play. Well, I am in the Ram TRX, another V8 supercharged truck, and I have 702 horsepower from a big supercharged V8. This is going to be a much closer race. However, my truck does weigh just over 6,500 pounds, about 6,580 which is more than 500 pounds heavier than Andre's truck. But the Raptor R has larger, heavier tires, 37s versus 35s. Um, the Raptor R has a 410 rear axle that has a 355, that has an eight speed automatic, this has a 10 speed. And I am traction control off in sport mode, four wheel drive auto, and I'm going to put it in launch mode. Launch mode. Also, this drag race would not be possible without the help of many, many people. I want to thank Justin and the Colorado Raptor Run um, organization. I want to thank Thomas. I want to thank Corey uh, for providing your trucks. Um, and of course, the TFL crew. So let's do this. Dude, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm ready. I'm ready too. I'm in launch mode, and this is the race that we've been waiting for. Well, I don't have launch mode. Really, you don't? No, I just have go fast pedal mode. <laughs> well, hopefully that's a good sign for me and the TRX. his time. I cannot wait to hear your time. 13.31 at 106.2 miles per hour. I did 13.29 at 109. How about this? Do you want to do a rolling race? Yeah, let's do that. Dude, I also want to do a little shout out to a video we did a while back where the TRX you're driving that belongs to Corey, uh, we had it here in a hot, hot summer day. It was like near 95 or 100 degrees Fahrenheit and that truck did a quarter mile in 13.9 and here we are on the winter day and you saw the performance increase. That air density really makes a big difference. All right, dude, uh, let's do a rolling race. Hey y'all, we've got some really exciting vehicles up for auction this week over at tflbids.com, including this 2022 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 with a bunch of AEV upgrades. This thing looks fantastic. One of my personal favorite era of vehicles, the 1990s, we've got a Pontiac Trans Am Comp TA with a manual transmission. These vehicles are quickly becoming super collectible. And lastly, of course, a 2002 Chevrolet Corvette, a C5 Corvette, a vehicle we have tons of experience with, except this this one is a six-speed manual transmission and a convertible. Check out tflbids.com for more info on all these fantastic rides. All right, Case, uh, so how does this work? We get up to 30, and once we cross the uh, starting line, we just set count off three, two, one? Yeah, exactly. Once we're up to 30 miles per hour and we are nose to nose, we'll count down three, two, one, go. And as soon as we hear go, both of us mat the pedal.
There was like, what, half a truck, maybe less? Well, it was funny, at, at one point you started pulling ahead and I thought you were just gonna walk away from me like you did from a dig in that first drag race, but then I kinda hung out right behind you. That's good old V8 power, huh? But what about now? What Does electricity have to say something about this? Welcome to overtime. I'm throwing the flag and telling you we have an electric vehicle going up against the Raptor R. It's gonna be a tight race. Right now, I am in the monstrous Hummer EV, and it is Andre's reckoning because this is a thousand horsepower EV pickup truck. It does tip the scale at over 9,000 pounds, but that thousand horsepower is gonna do good things for me in this race. All right, my friend, so are you gonna be using the WTF mode? Your ears must have been burning because right now my truck is lowering and I'm entering Watts to Freedom. You know what? We upgraded the Hummer to 37 inch tall tires, uh, BFGs, and we've never did a Watts to Freedom mode on 37s. Well, we're about to find out just what it does. My truck is armed and ready to go. And while you're racing, I want you to think about this. The weight difference is so great between us. I could put a Toyota Camry in my bed and I'll still weigh less than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weight difference might be there, but so is the horsepower difference. A thousand horsepower, buddy. This is your reckoning. <laughs> Dude, so my, the Raptor R is fairly consistent. I got 13.25 at 110 miles per hour in our drag race. That's not bad. Uh, I got 12.36 at 106 miles per hour. When this Hummer EV hits 106 where it's limited, it slows right down. I mean, it just tanks the acceleration right when it hits that number. But even though your trap speed was higher, my time is almost a second quicker. <laughs> There you have it, sports fans. We have a definite winner. And then we have this other electric truck that did its thing as well. Wow. You know what I learned today? I learned today that Raptor R is really super solid, really fast truck. Yeah, I mean, even with the Hummer winning at the very end, that Raptor R was the star of this show because it kicked the TRX to the curb and obviously it kicked the regular Raptor. Now bear in mind this is high elevation and it makes no damn difference to the Hummer how high or how low it goes. Well, I'm, I'm thinking this. I'm gonna put the Raptor R on slicks, so stay tuned. Uh, this is to be continued. You know, little tiny wheels. That's a good idea. I think that'll be great for truck fans. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Mm -hmm.